This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So, hello guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on Hacker GPT and Chat GPT. And we'll be taking a look on how to use it, what purposes we can use this for, and many more. So, make sure you watch this video till end. But before in the video, we are having few new announcements here. We have launched the 50 days master course of bug bounty. You can take a look on all the contents here. I'm displaying all of them here. And this course would be a complete live and practical approach to real life target, real life scenario, new theoretical bullshit just on the point. It will be done completely live from choosing target exploitation and reporting bugs on the way. So that would be a complete mentorship or you can say a proper guide of bug bounties. In fact, in a 50 days course to make sure to take a look on all the contents. Apart from the content, there are a lot of things included into it. You can take a look on the features tab in the website. You can get the recordings, notes, templates, CV notes and many more things including our personal tools and few more resources. So make sure to take a look on the link and let's get into the video. So here we are on our computer screen now. As I said that we are going to take a look on the Hacker GPT. But the biggest competition for Hacker GPT is the Chat GPT. I personally thought that this would be sort of a rivalry but yeah we can say both of them are quite working good on their own, alright. So if we take a proper look onto them, yeah, they are having a lot of differences, a lot of similarities that we might want to work on them. So, first of all, this hacker GPT thing is kind of a slow to respond. Alright, we are going to start with the realities, but yeah, it's kind of a little bit slow to respond, but gives you a quite good number of results. You can even, you know, use it as an end map or all this type of things. We can use it for multiple purposes and the best thing is it can get significantly very good payloads and all these types of things so we're gonna just take a look on them or take a look on few of them so let's see if i'm going to you know just like hacker gpt i can just take a look on the whole ui which will look something like this the hacker gpt and there are a few suggestions and the versions whatever it is and then we have these two things the plugins and there's one more. So we're just gonna go with the plugins. See, the plugins are kind of very simple. We are having few of them attached. You just go to free. These are the five free attached ones. You can just take a look on them. So let's just take a look on CV map. And now I'm gonna search Atlassian. I guess we have already made a video on CV map. You can definitely take a look on the previous videos about CV map like what is CV map and just get a better idea about it so I just gave this a CV map and it is just trying to find all the you know vulnerabilities kind of provided into Atlassian so let's see what is the result so it's just gonna give me the data of Atlassian CVs all these ones are here you can see in a very structured way the first one is 24 21 68 3 all the POCs are here, all the nuclei templates are here, Sudan data, like what docs and queries we can use. Right, even though you can just type a very specific CV number, like if I just remove this thing, it's a whole list. That's a really whole list with all the details mentioned here, including nuclei template data and all these things. So definitely have a closer look onto it. All right, so we can just try for a single CV. Let's see. This is our single CV that we might want to use with CV map. Let's see. Now you can see we got the all information about a single CV. Like what is the CV, the severities, the weakness, the descriptions are quite good here. References, if there is any sort of POCs available, you will get them. If there is a nuclear template for it, you will get them. But here there are no nuclear templates, so we're not getting anything very very specific. Okay, so now let's take a look on Shodan data. This is the queries as I already said, and all these things are getting imported from what? CV map. Alright. So that's a good thing that we are technically using CV map to find required information, but I'll say you can do this task by yourself only. <clears throat> now let's take a look on another plugin which is subdomain finder. Now see. If I just tell ChatGPT to find subdomains 
for nike.com it will not find subdomains for it it will just give me the ways to do it but yeah there is a dedicated mode for it so i can just type you know nike.com to find subdomains of it so now you can see that we are having a sub find the results we can just take a look by you know just click on view and we can have a better look on it or we can just download the file now see you can add multiple domains to find their subdomains combined like if i just do um nike.com nike.net and let's say adobe.com let's wait for it now see we have found all the subdomains for all these three domains and here are all the list of subdomains that we might want and these are working really quite good on it <laughs> we can use hacker gpt for this purpose now we have a few more things like link finder obviously we can use the tools so it's a fast and minimal js endpoint extractor right so you can just give a whole proper code on it it's the tool that's going to just getting used then subdomain word list generators are also there we can you know just customize and create all these things you can have a very good look on it by yourself now apart from this i have found that hacker gpt is quite good and also you know i uh, giving you or making a very very sorted out exploits and all these types of things so let's give a very simple query here which is this that i was trying i was getting blocked while i was trying to bypass cloudflare for xss using this imgss equals to x payload for xss can you suggest me some methods to bypass it so let's see how this will respond now as you can see we have got few methods few the payloads or you know few other methods are mentioned here that might be helpful for us so in short i can say that yes i am using this particular hacker gpt from a good time you can just say i'm just using it from last 3 to 4 weeks and i found it quite useful apart from it i'm not saying that chat gpt is not good or other ai are not that much efficient yeah they are kind of really good i'm just talking about other types of uh, ai rather than chat gpt is gemini these are working really good but if we use all of this combinedly based on our usages yeah hacker gpt can help us in a very good way when we are just trying to do bug hunting and all this stuffs also it can also suggest some more programs even if you just had need help with some sort of functions you are stuck somewhere this two would be my preferred ais that i might want to use the chat gpt and the hacker gpt both of them are good they might be really really helpful into many cases even though you can just add few of your own like let's say add a whole xss payload or if you just want to create some payload it can really help you like say so let's say i can upload svg file and perform xss through it now make me a payload in dot svg extension to perform ssrf from it or maybe we can add rc whatever you want to add it i'm just adding a srf for this question and let's see how it will respond now it is giving us the output for ssrf payload that we might want to use so yeah it can help you in exploit development it can help you in just generating payloads that might help you with bypasses apart from that yeah you can use it as uh, you can use the plugins mentioned here link finder cv maps or subdomain finder this might be really helpful for you if you are just not if you are going to do the bug hunting properly in some sort of specific ways so i guess that was for the video Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any query, let me know in the comment section. And see you guys in the upcoming videos. Have a great day.